Samsung is a technology company that's hell-bent on innovation. And when it comes to innovation, you can't not think about robots as part of the future. And Samsung is using our technology to make people's lives easier or better in some way. And robots are there or here now to enhance lifestyle. And we brought a few robots that do specifically that. We have a robot here called Samsung Bot Care. And it's really meant to take care of the elderly or sick or needy. And what it does is it could live in the home with them. It could remind them to take medicine. It could take their vitals, check their sleep patterns, and make sure that they're healthy and doing what needs to be done. The really cool thing about it is it could be monitored remotely. So if this robot was taking care of my parents and I wanted to know how my mom was doing, I can have the robot take her vitals or even know securely that she took her meds on time. In addition, we've also brought Samsung Bot Air. In certain parts of the world, air pollution is very big and it is an issue that needs to be dealt with. So within the home, you can put sensors and when sensors senses air pollution, Samsung Bot Air can move to that part of the home and cleanse the air. And that could be in a home, a factory or wherever, but clean air is obviously something that's important to us and something a robot can handle. In addition, we brought Samsung Bot Retail. The retail robot is really cool. Everyone's got that pain point of not waiting on the long line, yet having things they want. Samsung uh, Bot Retail, what that could do for you is be roaming around a store, and it, with its screen, you can talk to it and see what inventory is available, maybe help decide what your purchase is, or even make that purchase right from the robot. And then the robot can go back into the stock room, pull that inventory, and get you on your way without ever having to wait on those lines. So Samsung also brought not full robots, but robotics for people to wear, kind of an exoskeleton. And, you know, many people live with injuries and, and have, you know, they're not fully incapable, but may have lost some... Uh, mobility or ability with their hip, knee, or ankle. So Samsung brought some exoskeletons that speak directly to those joints so that, you know, if you do have a hip issue with a slight limp, the exoskeleton can help correct that limp and uh, basically add 20% more energy to your steps so that if you do have a weaker side, it can handle that. Knee injuries are very common, so we're also working with the knee. And for the knee, one can correct step, but also could help with lifting, walking up and down stairs. So helping these people be more mobile. And then the final one is for the ankle and making sure your step is correct and you're not dragging a toe and you know there are weaknesses and injuries that can cause that to happen and with these exoskeletons we're going to correct that movement make sure you get around safely. We're excited that they're here and basically it is showcasing how Samsung is using our technologies to enhance people's lifestyles whether it's to make it better, safer, or, or just more entertaining. And Samsung has used, you know, smart technology and TV and appliance and mobile. And now we're seeing it all kind of come together and be in a robot form where it's mobile and actually can come bring the technology to you. So here at CES at the booth, we're showing lots of products and technology. Some of those products are here now today and will be available in the store and some are future thinking. The robots are definitely one of these future thinking, not gonna be in retail today, but probably sometime in the near future.